A theory starts popping up like, oh, he lost an episode. No, I did not. Technically, um, I went out for a bit. I forgot to stop the recording. I wasted six minutes of the recording just on the fucking ad. And I was like, God damn it. So I decided to cut that one. Just restart it in general. So that's what we're doing. I just restarted it. So, um, here we go. We're going to start this shit right here at the beginning. Okay. Oh, you're up. I'm sorry. Oh, you're up. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't knock. I, I thought I had to wake you. Mm. It's okay. Everybody slept, so I might as well get ready. You haven't slept? Are you sick? I don't know. I don't feel so good. Can you describe what you mean with not so good? I have a lump in my throat. And it feels like I want to cry. I also have a headache and a stomach ache. Oh, Kylie, it sounds like you're a bit depressed. Do you miss your mom? Fuck yeah! It's completely normal and understandable. It is your first day without her, after all. I don't feel like going to school today, Mia! You don't feel like going to school today, hmm? Hmm. You know, when I lost my mother, my dad told me the thing that helped me the most was being with Kelly. Who's Kelly? Ah, uh, she's my best friend. We've been friends for many years. Well, many, many years, actually. She helped me take care of my mind, uh, take my mind off things, and remind me that she was there for me. I'm sure a sweet girl like you has lots of friends, right? Well, I, I guess. I, I also have a best friend, actually. Oh, really? What's her name? Michelle! God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, I think it's because of that fatal something, Michelle. I don't know. Okay, don't you think Michelle will miss you if you don't go to school today? Mm, I, I guess so. Don't you think she'll be good to talk to? She's probably funny too, right? Yeah, she's really funny. One time she made me laugh so hard that my milk came out my nose. <laughs> I've tried that too. <laughs> I tried to find an outfit that would make me look like a French maid. I knew you, you would appreciate it. Oh, God! Well, it, uh, it definitely looks good on you, Cassie. <laughs> no doubt about that. You know... Oh, wait. You know what looks even better on... Tell me. The floor? Oh, God. Ah, uh, that's nasty. I couldn't agree more. They were both being unprofessional and inappropriate. Why don't you take a seat and I'll find you some cereal. No, Kate. I have boobs. <laughs> okay, look. I don't think it would be necessary for me to ask you to be professional, Cassie. Oh, relax. It was just an adult joke, Mia. You're such a nun. Amused, are we, Mr. Collins? Uh, um, no, no, uh, you're right. Uh, we should all be professional, Miss Rose. Uh, Miss Candace? Cassie Candace? That's a weird-ass name. Where to go? Where to go, Mia? You just clam-jammed me. Are you serious? You're here to clean up, not hook up with the boss. Who I hook up with is none of your business, bitch. No, I can understand why you're mad. You're just a jealous virgin. Are you serious? No, if you professionally made the right choice with Cassie, you have an option to put her in her place. Let's find out if you made the right choice. Put Cassie in her place. Unfortunately, you didn't make the right choice. Fuck! <laughs> Cassie went out stomp all over you. Uh, for your information, I'm not a virgin. Well, you're not exactly experienced either, are you? Do you even know how to please a man? Ah, uh, that's none of your business. Why don't you let the adults talk next time, honey? Go change a diaper or something. Ha 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 ha! Oh god, I hate you. It's just because I'm Mexican. 
or black or I don't know what I am. I don't like Cassie that much, Mia. Honestly, I don't either, Kylie. Mm, do you like my brother? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I like him. I think he's a nice guy. I think he likes Cassie. Why do guys always go for the blonde girls? That's a good fucking question. I don't know. All my exes are fucking blonde. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <sighs> well, except uh, one of them. One of them was a brunette. She was fun. Okay. I don't think they do intentionally. I don't know! <laughs> but I once read that it's because men associate blonde hair with youth. Blonde hair with what? I don't... The, the blondes I dated were like probably a year older than me, to be honest. The brunette was a year younger than me, but the blondes were older. But the saying that blondes have more fun is definitely not true, right? Yeah, it's not. Right! <laughs> Fucking... <clears throat> How do I have the Little Mermaids in this? Chin up, smile, have a good day. Make sure to find Michelle and laugh a lot, okay? Okay, I will. See you later, Mia! See you at home. Call me if you need anything. I will! Bye! Da -da 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 -da. Stop doing that. Okay! Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, you all see the background, right? It looks like shit. Principal Cho. Oh, I gotta go, Amanda. The new teacher I told you about is here. Mm-hmm. I'll call you later. Ba -ba -ba. Mr. Collins, how can I help you? I trust you found your way all right. Uh, very much so, Principal Cho. Uh, call me Sarah. Okay, uh, Sarah. <clears throat> um, I just want to tell you something. I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want you to hear it from someone else. Gorgeous. Oh, uh, I mean, shoot. <laughs> you know the reason why I moved to town, right? Yeah. Well, before my mother left for Singapore, she hired a nanny for my little sister, Kylie. Yeah, what about it? And well, I turned out my mother had hired one of my students, Miss Mia Rose is her name. And you felt the need to tell me this why exactly? Because I'm living with her. She lives at my mother's mansion with me and Kylie. Lives with you? Her teacher? There's a bit of... I know, I know, that's why I needed to tell you. I know it sounds weird, but I promise you, I'm being as professional as I can around her, even back home. I appreciate you telling me, Mr. Collins, but you need to be careful. The press would kill for a story like this, and they could easily make people believe that something more is going on. And you know that could reflect badly on both of us, so don't let that happen, you little bitch. Oh god, I know I'll be careful. Good! Uh, that was all? I just thought you should know. Got it, now go teach your heart out, Mr. Collins. Mm. You can bend me over anytime you want. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, come on, you know you want the sweet ass. No, I don't. I'm out. Uh, sure, thank you. Oh, yeah, see, now you accepted it. Now you really got to bend over this ass. Okay, I am out. <laughs> hey, you talk like me for a second. Come here. Look, um, I know I need to keep my distance from her, but I owe her an apology. Oh, this is his thought? What the fuck? I know I need to... I know I need to keep my distance from her, but I owe her an apology. Um, listen, Miss Rose, I'm, I'm sorry. I was a jerk to you at the airport. I, I don't know why I said that. Because you're an assumptuous jerk. Because you're an assumptuous jerk. Because I am just, I guess, I'm just an assumptuous jerk. Agree with him. Well, I agree, you were being a jerk on me. But... It was a stressful day. I'm glad you took it out on me instead of Kylie. I shouldn't have taken it out on any of you, and I apologize for that. I know I can be a bit moody sometimes. And I'm really sorry about your mother. God, I was a jerk. I forgive you. There's no way around this. You have to get along for Kylie. I agree. I'll try and make it as easy for you to like me as I can. 
Well, how about giving me an A plus in our next math test? It'll definitely help you on the way. <laughs> I don't think you need me to get you that, Miss Rose. How about I take you and Kylie out to do something fun this weekend? Would that help? Take me out? Oh my lord. I think Kylie could use some chewing up. What do you think? I actually think that's a great idea, Mr. Collins. Let's talk about it later. You can help me decide where to go. I was actually thinking about Central Park. But feel free to bring your own ideas to the table, okay? See you in class. Okay, see you in class, Mr. Collins. Little shit. Wait, but maybe he's not so bad after all. Nah, he's bad. He's bad, girl. He is bad! Oh, gotta get my girl voice. And then I told Nick to stick it where the sun don't shine. Kelly, I'm trying to read here. Miss Rose, I would appreciate it if you didn't talk to Miss Monterio while I'm trying to explain something important. Mr. Collins, I wasn't I. One strike, Miss Rose, two strikes, and it's detention. Bitches. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. So, anyway. So, Nick starts telling me about this new girl. He's got his eye on. Kelly, be quiet. You're going to get us both. Us detention. Detention, Miss Rose. At the school with me. <sighs> no, friends for life. Save Kelly. Don't say my name, Mia, please. I have to drop my parents off at the airport. Fine, but you did this, and you're seriously the only one. I know, me and my big mouth, I'm sorry. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was so great! The whole... <laughs> that was great! Mr. Collins apparently takes his job very seriously. SMALL HANDS! <laughs> he called Kylie after giving me detention to tell her I wouldn't be home until 4 p.m. I guess the fact that I was supposed to be home with Kelly and look after her wasn't enough to stop him from doing his job, even though Kelly was the one to blame for this mess. It was only me and one other guy who was sitting down in the corner of the room, sleeping across his table. Mr. Collins didn't bother walk waking him up anymore after countless tries, resulting in the guy just falling right back to sleep again. I guess I know the reason why he got detention in the first place. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried to focus on getting ahead on some homework. But look at him. Why would you just look? Would you just look at him? No. I wouldn't. He's up. Don't show me his penis! His face looks like it was caught by angels. And his body by Mikey, Michelangelo himself. What was our principal thinking when she hired him? Okay, never mind. Now I know. Oh, wait, I just realized the answer as I said that. She's a woman, that's what. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. This thing said it wasn't me. I want to clear this fucking context right the fuck now. She said it. She said it. She said she's a woman. I didn't say it. I'm sorry. That sounds like the biggest, like. That sounds like saying the N word now. I'm being honest. It, it sounds like saying the N-word now. You say, because she's a woman. For like anything. Oh, why is she cleaning the kitchen? She's a woman. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the N-word. Like, oh, why does he... Fry? No, 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 no. No, no, nah, I don't need this. I don't need this on me. <laughs> oh, God. She said it. That's why. I apologize to anybody. I have offended. I am so sorry. That's okay, Principal Cho. I gotcha. I can say no to those puppy eyes. You need help with anything, Miss Rose? Oh, shit! Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, shit! He got me staring! I could see him! I could see he was holding back a smile. Like he was pretending he didn't see me oogling him just now. I know he did. He wet his lips while running a hand through his golden brown hair, waiting for my answer. Wait, he wet his what? This guy definitely knows how, how attractive he is. Um, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Mm hmm, all right. <laughs> I must admit, I was a bit confused about Mr. Collins giving me detention for this. Maybe he felt like proving how serious he is about his job to me because I live with him. Maybe it's his way of telling me to stop daydreaming about him, I don't know. 
Oh no, I know. So then he don't see them both going to the house because they'd be at night or some shit, you know. When I was finally done serving detention time, I actually I awkwardly returned to my new home. When I knew Mr. Collins would arrive shortly after me, Kylie is at Michelle's place and she will be there until tonight. <sighs> So now it's just me and Cassie until Daryl gets home. Lucky me, huh? She's not so... Nah, I feel sorry for you, Mia. Uh, since you're my conscience, does this mean I'm feeling sorry for myself? Nah, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> uh, no. I guess it does, but thanks anyways. Mia. Cassie? So we need to talk. For the last time, Cassie, I'm not interested in Mr. Collins. If that's true, you wouldn't mind helping me get him, would you? Wait, what? Why would I help you? Why would I help you? You've not exactly been nice to me, Cassie. Well, because you're going to spend a lot of time together. Is that seriously your reason? We're going to spend a lot of time together, and you don't want me as your enemy. Are you actually threatening me? Of course not, honey. I'm just stating a fact. Okay, look, forget it. Now, get out of my way. I need to get dinner started. Okay, okay, fine, wait. Oh, God, okay. How about I owe you one? Seriously, I promise I'll be there when you need me. I don't know if I should trust her. I'm helping her! Okay, be reluctant, but help her. Okay, maybe I'll help you. I need to hear what you want me to do before I agree on anything. Totes, I understand. Okay, here's what I need you to do for me. That's the end! Okay. Okay, just end it like that. Fuck y'all. Just end it like that. End it like an asshole. Why don't you? I technically just agreed. <laughs> I just technically agreed to do whatever the hell she needed me to do. Okay, well, um, that is the end of this episode. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, it is so amazing. <laughs> that was a weird thing I just did right now. You guys heard that laugh? That was like a <laughs> weird laugh. We, we need some. We need Jesus up in this house. We need Jesus. We need Jesus and we need Weezus. That's right, Kanye. Get your ass in here. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sorry, I was just waiting for to get to this. What? Whoa, what the fuck does that say? Watch it, snap, sneak on the snoop and watch sneak the shot. I can't read that. <laughs> I was just saying weird shit. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with y'all's guys, friends, you guys, and everyone. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Bad Boys. <laughs> Sorry, it, it shows two of the characters that look exactly like characters of Bad Boys Girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> to like, subscribe, share this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next episode of The Teacher. <laughs> God damn it, bye guys.